Hi there, in this video we're going to go over an analytic derivation of the Laplace transform. Now, I got this from a YouTube video by a guy called Arthur Mattock, a professor at MIT. So I've put the link below so you can go directly to that and have a, a look at that if you're interested. Now, we've seen previously whenever we did the derivation of the, the Taylor polynomial that we can approximate a function a of x using a series of simpler functions. Now the simpler function we choose are the monomial functions, which are functions of the form a n x to the n. Okay, so that would be say a zero plus a one x plus a two x squared plus all the way up to a n x to the n. Now that's got another name. Okay, that's called a power series. Okay, now our contention is then that the Laplace transform is nothing more than a continuous analogue of this power series. So in this instance here, our values n are discrete, so they're the natural numbers, say from 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, all the way up to infinity. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace this and we'll change it a variable called t and we'll make it uh, this t is a continuous variable which would be all the real numbers say all the positive real numbers so it's all real numbers greater than zero now again our contention is that this um, here with a continuous variable t is just the Laplace transform so what we'll do is we'll rewrite this now our a n is no longer going to be a value a n, so it's going to be a, um, a function of t, okay, so we could just call that some function of t, which is a of t, and our x to the n is going to be now x raised to the power of t, and the summation now, because we're dealing with a continuous function t, a uh, continuous variable t, will be the integral from 0 to infinity uh, by dt and that's going to give us our value a of x okay so our contention is that that there is really just the Laplace transform in a different form okay so let's go do do and we'll, we'll, we've just really basically got to knock this thing here round into the form of the Laplace transform now the first thing that we notice is that this value of x if we were to make x, we want this um, this integral to converge. Okay, so in order to converge, we have to be careful what value of x we, we, we choose. So if x is say greater than um, greater than one, okay. So for example, if x was two, then you could have two to the the fact two to the power of t, and t can tend off to infinity. So if x would be greater than one then this is a potential of not converging okay so we have to make sure that our value x is uh, less than one okay but now if x was a negative number then you could potentially have uh, say negative one and say if t were a half then you could have the root of negative one which is a complex number and we don't want that we want to keep everything in terms of uh, the real numbers okay so We'd have to ensure then that our um, x is um, greater than zero. Okay, so that's what we. That's a factor we must. Uh, an extra factor we must introduce. Now, another point is that um, when we do the Laplace transform, it's no x to the t. It's it's e to the t. Okay, so we need to change this x to the t. So it's actually raised to the base e. So we can do that quite simply if we say that x equals e to the ln x, okay? And of course that will be to the t, right? Now, ln x and e to the x are just inverses, so whenever you do e to the ln x, you just get your value of x back. Now, I'll do a video on the snippet section, okay? So you better get in there and have a wee look in the snippet section. I'll, I'll quickly go over that, okay? So. If that is uh, what we're going to be using there, then we have to be careful about our um, 
or we have to look and see what happens to ln x then whenever we limit x to uh, greater than 0 and less than 1 so if we draw the draw these out simply then we could say that's e to the x there that's a e to the x right okay that's x there now um if we were to look at the um, ln x, ln x is just the inverse. You get the inverse of function by flipping it over the line y equals x. Okay, so it would look something like that there. Okay, now that point there is along 0 up 1, and that point there is along 1 and up 0. Okay, so that's that's uh, 1, 0, and that point there is uh, 0, 1. Okay, so it means that. Um, ln x between uh, 0 and 1 is a negative number. Okay, so what we do is we replace the value, uh, the ln x, by the value, the number um, s. Okay, so, and what we do as well is we, in order to uh, make this whole thing look positive, we actually replace it by s equals, not ln x, but minus ln x okay there so if we were to then put this back into our original equation then we would have the integral from 0 to infinity of some function f of t times e to ln x all to the t by dt okay so that can then be written as the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the minus st by dt okay so what we can then finally write is we can say our function f of s equals the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the minus st by dt and that there is our Laplace transform Okay, now um, we can see then that a plus transform is the continuous analog of a discrete power series. So that derivation, um, it's not really the one I prefer. Uh, the, the one I prefer will be on the, the next video. Okay, so thank you for listening. Goodbye.